hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm angel i have been freed just saying that yesterday was very powerful and it allowed me to free myself i was just listening to pastor torre uh seeing in the dark and it was very inspiring for what i'm trying to do in my life i love this family because like they know they've been through it like you could see it you know so it's just that was freeing for me like i always thought that it was easier for me to live with all these secrets you know what people don't know won't hurt them you know that kind of mindset like i can do anything as long as no one knows about it but the crazy part is i didn't realize that i was doing all this stuff and i knew about it i knew i know now that I can't walk with God and have secrets because he's the type of guy where he's always, he knows your secrets, but he's not going to tell you that he knows your secrets. You know what he's going to do? He's going to send words. He's going to send visions. He's going to send all these things trying to persuade us or me to heal. You know, saying the words. I believe that wholeheartedly. Like I've been walking in that, just saying the words. It was beautiful like that whole sermon just spoke to everything that I'm trying to do in my life and every day's hard today was easier it was definitely easier than yesterday but I gotta I have a mind where it's like well, if I'm not doing something on a consistent basis then I just give up but I'm trying to change I'm trying to be a better person for God because what he did in my life and what he's doing in my life cannot be explained in words. It's only feelings. Like, I feel good. I look even better. And I got, I can't, I can't give myself credit for this. I can because, you know, he healed me. The moment I asked for him, I cried out for him. He showed me all these things. I was healed, right? But I've been working on just believing that I'm healed. And I'm actually believing it more and more every day. Every day that I say what he wants me to say you know every day that I do something that's not me something that feels more like him you know it's just easier said than done you know every day is a battle a battle with myself I'm not fighting nobody in this journey on this journey but myself but I don't want to fight with myself because when I fight with myself I can't be in the same space with myself I'm always having these conflicting thoughts trying to change my mind. And I'm done changing my mind. I just want to be a woman of my word. Like, I just want to say what I mean and do what I say. I said I wanted YouTube. Here's YouTube. Like, do it, girl. Get up every morning and just keep doing this. I'm proud of you, big head. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. You're doing good. You're doing good. You look better. I feel better like when I first started this thing I thought like you know like I kind of resented God like I really did like it was just dark it was all dark right so it was just like I didn't see no light in that dark mentally like all this is happening in my mind like there's no other way to explain it like this isn't happening in this realm it's happening in a realm of my mind. And it's real, it's real, because I know it's real. I know what's real. You know, I know what I felt. I know what I saw. I have to stop denying myself my truth, because when I deny myself my truth, I'm denying God. And I can't do that to him. I don't want to be a person that could be healed, right? He healed you. You feel good, look better. But ain't doing nothing for him doing nothing for his children like the way he loves me and what he did in my life he loves y'all just the same if not more because y'all relationship with him is going to be different how you rock with the lord how y'all vibe how y'all talk that's y'all relationship and nobody will ever understand it and people will be jealous of your relationship with god because they don't have it you know I used to be like that. Like, I used to have that mindset where it was like, I don't want to go to church because they're not doing nothing for me. I had to go to a shelter. 
me and my kids, no, me and Amaya went to a shelter. I was pregnant with Elijah. I had to go to a shelter, right? And I was just in there. And there was all these church people just donating toys because it was around Christmas time. So they were donating toys and like just things we needed, hygiene products. Like, and they were just donating this stuff and not asking for nothing in return. That was God opening my eyes. Like the, in that moment when I was in the shelter, the devil was trying to break me, but the Lord was blessing me and I didn't know. Like now that I know that how much churches do in communities, I cannot not help because it's not about what they do with the money. Whatever they do with the money is between them and God. It's you doing it. You know, like you giving to God, not them, but God in them, you know? Because everybody has God in them. He created us, I believe this wholeheartedly, but believing all this stuff, all this is happening because I believe. I believe in a way that I've never believed in anything in my entire life because I have to. Like, once I got back from being healed, and I was telling you guys about in my video yesterday, like just, just that, it wasn't easy. Those demons that were pulling my hair, my hair came out in clumps. Like I used to just be doing my hair and it used to just be falling out, falling out, falling out, falling out. I'm just losing weight, losing weight. Cause that literally stressed me to death. Knowing that I didn't realize all those people that were touching me were people that I let touch me. God didn't let nobody lay hands on me that I didn't already lay hands on me. I didn't recognize their faces none of them like it was just so many demons trying to stop me from getting to this light they tore my hair out in clumps like it was just it was just a a very 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 dark place so god showed me that so i knew what would happen if i ever left him and he knows that that scared me more than doing something like this. Like he knows me, he really knows me. And then it's like everything that's happened in my life, I'm now able to connect. Like if the kids is acting funny, I got to go back on my day. Well, I was listening to the word. I did anoint the kids with oil. Like, okay, okay, you can't get me. So you go to my kids. That's cool. I got something for you. I'm about to pray harder. I'm about to pray harder because I have to. The more attack, like, it's it's worse than ever before. But it's like, I know now what this is. I know what it's trying to do to me. What it's trying to take from me. It's trying to take away the thing that God created me to do. And I refuse to let that happen. I refuse to let anything that's walking on this earth stop me from my blessings. Stop me from ever just being in the presence of him like the rick i want to be like sitting with jesus at his table just eating good like we vibing it's a whole vibe of just real people who believe believe in something better than we see like every day i go to work my friend tammy is just telling me about something sad that's happening in the world and i'm just like i'm praying i'm praying because wow that's all i can do in this moment, that's all I can do. I want to be in a position one day to help people. Like, all these things are happening in the world because people believe they're not loved. People believe that they will never have enough. I can understand I've been in the world. Like, I never had enough. I always had everything, but never enough. Never enough to make y'all happy. Never enough to make y'all like me. It was just always... Too many people expecting things from me that they wouldn't re wouldn't require or respect, ask for themselves. Like, it's just, I'm learning. Every day I'm learning. I don't want to go into this thing and not learn because to not learn makes me a fool. And I refuse to be a fool. I refuse to ever walk up to the gate and God say, well, you didn't check your attitude you was still petty you was still doing that angry angry spirit like i cannot 
I cannot go into this new thing with him and have any of my old traits because I will like cancel out everything. I don't know if it really will, but like I'm scared it will. And I don't, this is my dad. God's like my dad, my real first dad. Like I love this man and I cannot let people think bad things about him because I used to think bad things about him. I used to think that I wasn't worthy of love from God because no one ever put that in me. No one ever told me that going with God, you know, like really doing this fine. It's big. I've never seen nobody do this. This is big for me. Birds, there's freaking little, like five, six little pigeons just outside my my door, my, my window. Something is happening. I am like, those are God's creatures, right? I believe this wholeheartedly. I've listened to sermons. Like they talk about the birds all the time. I'm talking about my past, uh, the potter house. And um, one, like I'm talking about them. Like there's birds that just sit outside my window. I'm that protected. I praise that hard. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me being me but i know it's not i have to believe because if i don't believe then i'm not believing and i'm just like y'all walking around doing nothing that's gonna help our babies thrive in any way shape form or fashion there is nothing we're doing like everybody has a whole bunch of businesses selling some of the same merch and it's like how do I, how do you jump into something that somebody's already doing? It wasn't meant to be like this. Like it just, to me, it's not meant to be like this. It's just stupid. Like it's the world's stupid. Bottom line, like it's just, it don't make sense. It don't make sense. How people can have billions and billions of dollars, right? And not help. <laughs> still know that there are people standing on corners begging for money and there's billionaires out here make that make sense and then they pick who they help I'll help you I'll help you but I'm not gonna help you unless we're recording it and people can know that I helped you that's a line of bullcrap I want to help even when I can't help myself because we are all God's children and he loves us he loves us so much that he's wake. He woke me up. He healed me. And now I believe I'm healed. Believing I'm healed. Still a process. Still a process. But I just want a better world, man. A world that's not so judgmental. That's not so angry. Murderous. But I feel that. I can relate to that because it's dark. It is a dark place. And I'm in the light now. I'm in the light. You see my glow? I'm in the light. This is what light with God looks like. This is what a smile. Like, it's real. Believe. Believe. God tells me all the time. People believe. People will believe me just because of who I am. And who they knew I was prior to me. That's why they'll believe. That's why this has to be me. That's why, that's why. Because you will believe because you know me, you knew me. You knew me when I was in the, in the world and I wasn't, I wasn't anything nice. I didn't love, I didn't care about a living soul. Nobody, I didn't my kids. I didn't care about myself, so nobody. And that is dark. <laughs> That sent me on a dark, dark path. And now I'm in the light. A moment of silence and we're starting now. Bye guys until my next video.